friends welcome back on our youtube channel today in classical mechanics we will discuss about solution of harmonic oscillator problem by using hamilton jacobi method we have already discussed about hamilton jacobi theory and hamilton jacobi equation now solution of harmonic oscillator problem by hamilton jacobi method so let's start our current lecture solution of harmonic oscillator by hamilton jacobi method consider a one dimension system in which a point mass m attached to a spring of force constant k so here we have a point mass which is attached with a spring and this spring having force constant k the other end of the spring is attached to a massless cart so the other end of this spring means this point is attached to this massless cart it means this cart does not have any mass so n equals to 0 let v not be the constant velocity of cart which is provided by some external force so a constant velocity v not is provided to this cart by some external force and with this velocity the cart is moving in this direction if x be the generalized coordinate then the distance traveled by cart in time t is v not t because v not is the constant velocity of cart it means this cart traveled a distance v not t since the kinetic energy t equals to half mv square and v means x dot so t equals to half m x dot square also potential energy v equal to half kx square and here x means x dash so v equals to half k x dash square as the cart move forward in time t the spring moves through a distance v not t so as cart move forward means in this direction in time t so the spring moves through a distance v not t so initial position of spring is here and after time t spring is at this position so the distance due to a spring action alone is x dash equal to x minus v naught t so this is our v naught t and this is x so this distance is x dash equal to x minus v naught t now we replace this x dash by x minus v naught t so v equals to half k x minus v naught t whole square since lagrangian l equals to t minus v and kinetic energy t equals to half m x dot square and v is this one so if we replace this t by this one and potential energy v by this value so lagrangian l equals to half m x dot square minus half k x minus v naught t whole square the lagrangian's equation of motion is d by dt of del l by del q dot minus del l by del q equals to 0 and here q is our x so d by dt of del l by del x dot minus del l by del x equals to 0 since lagrangian l equals to half m x dot square minus half k x minus v naught t whole square so if we differentiate this l with respect to x dot partially then del l by del x dot equals to half m differential of x dot square is twice x dot and 
since here we have no any x dot so its differential will be zero so del l by del x dot is replaced with half m into 2x dot also if we find the del l by del x from here then del l by del x equals to zero because here we have no any x minus half k and differential of this 2 into x minus v naught t so this negative and this negative will be cancelled out so plus half k into twice x minus v naught t equals to 0 now 2 and 2 will be cancelled out and this 2 and 2 will be cancelled out and if we differentiate this mx dot with respect to time then m x double dot plus k into x minus v naught t equals to 0 so m x double dot plus k into x minus v naught t equals to 0 since x dash equal to x minus v naught t now if we differentiate this with respect to time then x dash dot is equal to x dot on again differentiating it x dash double dot equal to x double dot so x dash double dot equal to x double dot so this is our x dash and this is x dash double dot so mx double dot plus k x dash equal to 0 or x dash double dot plus k by m x dash equal to 0 and what is this this is the equation of simple harmonic motion as observer on the card since v equal to half k x minus v naught t whole square since the potential energy does not have any generalized velocities so the Hamiltonian h equals to t plus v and kinetic energy t is p square by 2m and v is this one so x is equal to p square by 2m plus half k x minus v naught t whole square here Hamiltonian h is an explicit function of time so it is clear from here h is explicit function of time and Lagrangian l equals to t minus v so if we differentiate it with respect to time then del l by del t is equal to minus del v by del t because t does not depends on time so del l by del t equals to minus del v by del t and if we differentiate this equation with respect to time then del h by del t equals to del v by del t because t does not depends on time so del h by del t equals to del v by del t now from this equation and this equation so on comparing these two equations we get del h by del t is equal to minus del l by del t thus Hamiltonian h changes with time in this way h is not conserved although it represents the total energy since h changes with time and h represents the total energy so in this way Hamiltonian h is not conserved although it represents the total energy here we end our session in current lecture of classical mechanics we have discussed about the solution of harmonic oscillator by using Hamilton Jacobi theory goodbye